and welcome to Barcelona, where SIVA's European launch of Hyogen, a vaccine designed to combat microplasma hyopneumonia, basically bronchial pneumonia in piglets, is about to get underway. And as you can see, there's a packed audience of vets and producers from throughout the European region. Microplasma hyopneumonia remains today a serious concern for most of the swine producers worldwide inducing substantial financial losses. For us this event is, is very important, uh, having here around uh, 300 people from uh, all over Europe. It's uh, really a milestone for, for SIVA, as it's uh, the first uh, uh, pan-European launch of uh, swine uh, vaccines. What we identified is, is that uh, mycoplasma pneumonia remain uh, an important issue for most of the European uh, farmers for different reasons, because of the reduction of the use of antibiotics, because of uh, a vaccination program, because of epidemiology of, of uh, the disease. So there is an unmet need. And what we propose with Iogen is, first of all, as you know, with the Severing program, to identify the reality, the real picture of the farm at the slaughterhouse, checking the lesion of mycoplasma. And with Iogen, we provide a new solution with uh, uh, a new strain and a uh, novel adjuvant. So it's a very new product that uh, performs very well. Well, I've come to the outskirts of Barcelona to Cressa. It is the centre for research into animal health. It is the research home of another of our keynote speakers and she has been addressing the Congress on the issue of strain variability in M. hyo associated disease. The importance of this variability has only been assessed under experimental conditions. Under these conditions it has been demonstrated that there are different differences in virulence of these strains and uh, uh, it has been demonstrated that the strain can be classified as high or low virulence according to the lesions achieved by experimental conditions. What I know about Iogen is that it's based on a high, uh, highly virulent strain. In my opinion, it's a um, quite interesting point of view because it's dif different from the rest of the strains that all of them are based, or mainly all of them are based on a, a strain J that nowadays is a pathogen. So if Iogen is based on a highly virulent strain, probably the immune response derived from this vaccination is different from the, the other ones. The formulation is com completely different and practically for farmers what we make the difference is the long duration of the protection until 26 weeks post-vaccination, which is definitely reach the uh, last period of uh, fattening and uh, finishing of the, of the pigs. So that means with Iogen we can claim a protection until the end of the life of the animal.